Good morning, everybody. It's hump day. Let's get to humping. Good morning, everybody. As you saw, it's hump day. I hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday. Florida's back to being Florida. It's warm, it's sticky. The sun's out, that's a good thing. And uh, so far today, nothing has broken. I need to find some wood to knock on, don't I? Um, we have nothing broken as of this time on Wednesday morning. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I rode the bike, the wheel didn't fall off and the tire wasn't flat. So I guess uh, that was a successful repair. And uh, I don't even know what we got going on today. We've been this so like, busy not work-wise although we're busy work-wise that um i've been having you know ac and all this other stuff to do people coming in from out of town all that fun stuff that today i'm hoping i can sit down and figure out where i'm at in life and figure out what i got to do because we only have two more weekends um basically here and then uh, we have a weekend tortuga music festival and then we're in arkansas so we only have two more weekends to accomplish what we want done um, not to mention you know get pretty much caught up on work that uh, have everything on cruise control while we're out on the road and i can do everything from my laptop and you know within a few hours versus working all day because um, that's all we get when we're on the road we usually get you know maybe a couple hours in the morning and a couple hours at night or I mean as many hours as we need to take at night but who wants to go to bed at you know one two in the morning and then get up and ride all day the next day so we try to get as much done um, and lined out before we leave so that we don't have to spend a lot of late nights getting stuff done anyway it's time for some coffee we will see you in a little bit hi guys so yesterday we had an email go out um, telling people about route 66 and then of course um, telling them about our Badger Nation patches. Well, I got another 20 patches going out just from yesterday. So a whole bunch more patches be out there um, for support bikers and Badger Nation. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. We really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for sharing it with everybody. All right, guys, so I was in the other room. We're having a meeting, and I'm coming in to Mama Badger's office because something just happened. Yay! What just happened? All right, we're reading the bell again, guys. Yay! <laughs> you guys know what the bell ringing is, right? That means we have a new Support Bikers sponsor. We're also going to have a new Support Bikers community. Yay! So welcome McGinnis Howard. Right. And they're going to have... We're going to be doing North Carolina, baby. We're going to start that group up. Yay! <laughs> Support Bikers, North Carolina. Coming soon. As soon as we can get everything we got to get done, done. <laughs> so I can't get any of that done while I'm on here talking to you. So we will see you later. What's up, guys? So it is the end of the day. It's been a crazy day. I spent the last, well, so Mama Badger forgot that she had a lodging meeting tonight with our lodging crew for Route 66. So I'm cooking supper and we're getting ready to eat. And she's like, oh my gosh, I got a call in like four minutes. So she jumped on to do that. And uh, I did something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I am an Amazon affiliate and I actually have an Amazon store. It is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Sonny the Badger and just all the stuff I use is in there and uh, some Christmas stuff that we found that we thought was really cool um, decor some mama badgers put some stuff in there too you know decor and Christmas stuff but like the tools the parts all the stuff that I use on my bikes is in that store for one easy quick place because I get asked all the time and I really appreciate people reaching out and going hey what jump pack do you use or what little compressor do you use or what tool do you use to do this or what part do you use so um i went in there and i added a lot of stuff because i i don't mess with that a whole lot 
Um, I usually just get a link to whatever I'm doing a video about or whatever I'm using and I just put that in the video and I go on. So I haven't spent much time actually like making my store presentable. So I did that. So now people can go to my store and they can find about everything for my fat boy anyway, at least everything I use all in one place. So we got that done while Mama Badger was doing her thing. And uh, today I got from Amazon, I got some, a new tire repair kit. I've always used plugs. I've used those for years and years and years, but I found these little, they're like screws but they're rubber with glue on them. So you pull whatever punctured the tire out and then you take this and you screw it in and it is your plug. And I've never used them, but the idea is genius. I'm like, why didn't I think about that? What a perfect way. They're tiny and I already carry a screwdriver to put one in. So I can't wait to try it out, but I can wait to try it out. Does that make sense? Um, I don't want to have a flat tire, but if I do have a flat tire, I'm curious how these are going to work. <laughs> Who knows? I run into people all the time with uh, flat tires and dead batteries and stuff. So I may get to use it on somebody else's bike, which I'm fine with. Um, if my bike does not have a flat tire, I would be perfectly fine with that. So something else that was a comment was made on one of my videos today and uh, it got me to thinking. So the comment was, for somebody complaining about the mom and pop Harley Davidson dealerships going away, why would you go to Walmart or spend money on Amazon? And that's a great question. It's a fair question. <coughs> so, <coughs> goodness. Anyway, someone doesn't want me to talk about this. A couple years ago, well, five or six years ago, I put a business together. Um, and what my goal was, was to get everybody to shop at the local small businesses. So it was actually called bevocalshoplocal.com. And it was a place for all the small businesses to list themselves. This is gonna sound a lot like Support Bikers because um, Be Vocal Shop Local was what it was before I changed it over to Support Bikers um, and recreated it in the biker world. But the whole goal was for people to be able to find the local businesses and to patronize the local businesses. And I sold credit card processing to those said local businesses. And so I thought, you know what, this is my way to help these businesses out as well. I learned a few things by doing this. So uh, there were, don't get me wrong, there are some absolutely fantastic small businesses and small business owners out there, but the bulk of, but, 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 but the bulk of them, um, they wanted you to come patronize them as I'm a small business, but then, you know, they didn't do it themselves. Like um, if they wanted printing done, they would go to Vistaprint online. They wouldn't use the guy that's literally three doors down that does printing. Um, credit card processing, they would use Square. Not the local guy. The local guy that not only spent money in their business, but also was building a website to help them grow their business. Um, nope, Square. And their answer usually was, well, it was just easy. Or, you know, I just hopped online and I did it. Well, I mean, isn't that exactly what you're fighting? People hopping on Amazon or hopping on Walmart and just doing it? So anyway, um, I learned really quickly that nobody cared, right? They want, they want to say support small businesses, but they don't actually want to support small businesses. The other thing is they would just be going to Sam's to buy supplies, to bring it back to their store, to resell it to you. Um, so, you know, there were some flaws in that. And, and I still, if I can support a small business, I absolutely will. Um, I can't say that I will go completely out of my way to do that anymore because they won't, they won't do it either. So anyway, um, that being said, that's it. Um, yes, I am an Amazon associate, so it's like my own small business. If you buy something from Amazon, you use my link, then I'm getting paid. So small business is getting paid off of Amazon. Now, I don't have anything with Walmart like that, uh, but I ran to Walmart to get that to inner tube last night because I needed it and I needed it then. And I don't even know where the local bicycle shop is at. So 
I ran to Walmart. I got it for six bucks. I ordered a couple extras um, that are coming in from Amazon. And uh, you know what? That just is what it is. But the other thing is I use a local um, motorcycle shop usually to order my parts and all from. But what I've learned is so like I usually order three or four things from Amazon to make sure I get the right one. I can't do that with the local guy because then he would have to send all that stuff, extra stuff I ordered back. And that's an expense, not to mention time to look it up, time to order it. So it just doesn't make business sense. Um, I will support them anytime I have a chance, but a lot of times it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I have rambled on and on and uh, let you guys know what I thought of that comment. And it was a great comment um, and it was a great question, so I wanted to address it. Uh, we signed a brand new sponsor. We have Support Bikers North Carolina. I'm super excited about that. And you know what? It's hump night. Hump night. We're going to call it hump night. And I'm going to go in, get this edited, and then relax a little bit because it's been a really good day. We'll see you tomorrow.